guys, Tamara here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I did a dupe for the CB2 planters. They are so easy, and they literally cost less than $10, and I think they turned out beautiful. So let's jump right into it. What you'll need is the pot, some paint. Uh, this paint right here is a chalk paint, uh, and I'm just going to let you know right away, uh, I would skip using that because the rocks don't stick to it. I would stick with the spray paint. So you're going to need white rocks. I picked these up again from the Dollarama. I think they were like two bucks. Uh, and I went with the white ones because I thought it would look great against the white and I wouldn't have to worry about painting them. You'll need a glue gun. And then, yeah, you'll see right here, uh, the glue is not sticking to the rocks or the paint. So you just want to go ahead and give your rocks a rinse, pat them dry, uh, and then these will dry in no time so you don't have to wait like overnight or anything. Uh, once that residue, that powder has been rinsed off, you'll see the glue sticks perfectly to the rock and the the pot. But this pot I've actually given a spray, a coat of spray paint, so uh, I, like I said before, don't use the chalk paint. For some reason it just doesn't stick. All right, so yeah, I didn't mimic exactly how the CB2 was. They have a layer of four and I just stuck with three. Um, to be honest, I ran out of glue and I actually kind of like the way it turned out with just the three. And I went ahead and spray painted on top of the rocks just to make it a little bit more seamless. I didn't like how it looked a little too obvious that it was white and then rocks. And there it is. I just added some plants that I picked up from Home Depot and this is the final product. I think it turned out so pretty and it looked really nice in the hallway. It just kind of has that like vacation-y stone sort of deserty look. So yeah, really easy, super affordable and so easy. I hope you like it and again if you end up trying this out please let me know tag me on instagram i'd love to see how it turned out or maybe you have a new take on it uh yeah i hope you leave inspired and have an awesome day everybody and i'll see you in my next video